Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. So today we're harvesting bull crops. harvesting um, whole crop winter rye so let me just show you how tall this stuff grows so I I don't know what height I am maybe a hundred and sixty centimeters I'm not sure but yeah it's nearly up to my height it's pretty tall stuff um but yeah we're smashing it we've got only you can see We don't have too many um, runs around it left. Uh, we've probably about two trailer loads each for the three carting tractors and trailers. Um, but yeah, we're getting on good with it. No breakdown, which is good. It's very rarely that you'll ever see the Massey with the um, wagon actually carting something. It's usually lifting grass. So this here is the ear of the rye plant. And on the ear of the rye plant, on the ear of the rye plant, there are little grains, and if you squish them, and they're cheesy in the middle, that means that you know when to harvest them. And if they're not cheesy, then you won't harvest it. So that, so, yeah. So the field is now finished, all complete. That's the, that was the last trailer there, the heron and the New Holland, and um, so, yep, we're finished. So the whole crop header that is on the um, forage harvester, we need to take it off because obviously it's too wide for the road. So there's a trailer behind that hedge, we'll just put it onto and then that'll be it all finished. We are finished harvesting the whole crop and it is now all in the silo. We've gone about a day, one round a day and a half high, um, which is quite high, and we've gone all the way back to the back of our house, nearly the back of our house. Um, but yeah, we've got quite a bit in here, um, reminding us still that we have got third cut and fourth cut that we're going to do this year. Um, still put in here, um, that last little bit of second cut. Um, it's only like four acres. But yeah, it's gonna be a bit of a squeeze. We've got to it right to the end of that door there. And um, after that we don't know and we can only go to about the top of that wall the way she's not. We are doing um whole crop again. We this time we are doing um winter uh, yeah uh, spring barley, sorry. Um you would have seen that we did um winter rye that's in the uh, clump over there. Yeah, we did have a little bit of a disaster with the fields, as you can see, holding up the clump. But never mind, we're getting this in. As you can see, we're putting it in this tiny wee clump. This has never happened before, but we're putting our spring barley here this year. Because um, we don't want to put it here and open the clumps. And there's nowhere really else that has somewhere to put it. 
so where you might have seen a big pile of stones and gates and tires and all that thing, all those kind of things piled up here. Well, we've moved those. We've made a bit of a wall at the back here to um, lean it against. And then we've also, remember where the water was over there? Uh, where it used to always pile up. We leveled that out so it's nice. Um, so it won't flood there anymore. But yeah, we're getting, getting on good. I'm not sure how much we have left. This is our only field of spring barley this year. And as you can see, it's got hit by, quite badly by the wind. So I was talking about the, the wind and the rain. Um, a few weeks ago, knocked it, a lot of it down. I would say at least three quarters of it was knocked down by the wind, which isn't great. But it seems to be picking up it up okay. And some bits are still standing, which is good. And this will probably be the last trailer load. Um, I saw I'm just out in time. But yeah, that's pretty much, this is the only field we're doing. Yeah, so I was explaining that we had um, made this a bit higher so that um, there wouldn't be a flood here. Um, if you remember, I did like a video of us pumping this out. But yeah, we've made this higher so it isn't a nuisance when water collects here. And then um, it's also a perfect height for this as well because um, these are now level with the actual ground here. Because um, when when this bit wasn't here, they would have been sticking up out of the ground a lot more, and it also makes it a lot more level and tidier with the um, yard round here. But yeah, everything's good. Thanks everybody for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Bye. I also remember to subscribe so we can get to a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. Thanks.